Uh, the Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion has, as any academic institution does, our sister schools uh, in Jewish life and our big universities have, uh, a sort of license to honor uh, significant people who emerge uh, out of the middle of the throng. And the College Institute, about a year and a half ago, in, in its Honors and Awards Committee, um, and I happen to serve on that committee, um, chose to honor Debbie Friedman tonight with a, an award given only a few times uh, a year, at, not even every year, called the Sherut La'am Award. I want to highlight that, though tonight is a musical evening, it is not for Debbie's music alone that we take this pause. It's for Debbie's spirit <clears throat> within our bigger Jewish community. And now I'm pleased to call on Dr. Lewis Barth, professor of Midrash, the dean of the California School, and uh, my mentor and friend for well, well over 40 years. I got it. Um, Bill, thank you very much. The uh, thought of Ech Merach Dim Lifnei Hakala dancing before Debbie is uh, kind of mind blowing. Um, it is a thrill to be here. Let me begin by saying something that I seem to remember uh, announced um, before every, every Debbie Friedman uh, concert no flash pictures, please. Um, having said that, we will have a, a good occasion with uh, the evening being taped. Um, I'm thrilled and honored uh, to be able to make this presentation on behalf of uh, Hebrew Union College. And uh, this has uh, both its formal and uh, slightly informal uh, aspects, but let me begin with uh, the formal part, um, which is as follows. The Kalsman Institute is honoring Debbie Friedman for her contribution to the Jewish healing movement. In addition to her music, which has meant so much to people, she is really being honored for having influenced so many people, tens of thousands, to take seriously the relationship between a healthy people and Judaism. The award, as Bill Cutter just said, is the Sherut La'am Award, which is one of the unique awards of the College Institute to honor people who have made special contributions to our community and the larger world. In that sense, it is an award of Hebrew Union College, of our whole college, as well as the Kalsman Institute, and in relation to that, it's a pleasure to read the following uh, letter from our president, David Ellenson, who couldn't be here, but uh, here's what David Ellenson said. It gives me the greatest pleasure to write this letter of commendation and greeting to my friend, Debbie Friedman, and say how overjoyed I am that the College Institute can confer our Sherut La'am Award upon her for her unparalleled contributions to the field of Jewish music and worship, her musical creativity and her sweet and strong voice have touched the lives of so many and she has quite literally transformed the experience of Jewish prayer for hundreds of thousands of people. It is, a partic it is particularly appropriate that this award be given at a convocation of the Kalsman Institute of Hebrew Union College for her Misha Berach blessing is now a standard part of Jewish liturgy in hundreds of reform and conservative congregations throughout the world. I was gonna say Hasidic shtibbles already too, but I, I'll leave that out. Throughout the world and countless numbers of people have received comfort and support from her prayer for healing. David expresses his regret that he couldn't um, uh, be here to present you with this in person, but he goes on to say, I am there in spirit and know that she will understand how privileged the College Institute community and I feel to grant her such well-deserved recognition for her decades of achievement. We are delighted to honor her in this way, and we are confident that she will bless us all with many more years of talent and gifts. 
And it is in um, that context that I would just add my own appreciation. I'm likely to say that I would go anywhere to hear Debbie Friedman and this group as well. Um, uh, and we'll never forget the times uh, up at UC Santa Cruz during um, the Union of, it used to be American Hebrew Congregations, the Union of Reform Judaism's Summer Kalot, when Debbie began to introduce to so many of us uh, some of uh, her music, her healing music and her uplifting music. And I will never, ever forget sitting when she began with Miriam. And as the music built, I said to myself, in a minute, every woman in this room is going to get up and start dancing. Um, it's 30 seconds, it's 40 seconds. It didn't take a minute. It was the most extraordinary outpouring of, of spirit in response, Debbie, to your music that I have ever seen, and I know that that's happened in a thousand places. Debbie has probably brought encourage, encouragement to people in nearly a thousand locales through her concern for individuals as well as communities. Debbie has now been with us at five separate Kalsman events, simply as a participant, thus showing her commitment to our work irrespective of any performance involvement. And so at this time, I want to call my dear friend Bill Cutter to uh, join um, with me. And um, uh, let's do a healing blessing for. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I want you to just join with me right here. Well, let's and, bring her up. And no. Debbie, would you uh, please come up? Should I describe what it is? Um, I mean, you do the. Figure yeah, part. if you want to describe yeah. this, the trophy. Okay. Deb, this, uh, this, this is a balsamic box, a spice box, with a vine growing up that uh, doubles as an icon of the great uh, Caduceus, the medical icon. Also, uh, this is the creation of Moses, Moshe Sabari, uh, the Israeli sculptor and silversmith. Um, uh, nothing is adequate. It, uh, but this is um, something which we hope you will uh, hold dear. And uh, it has an inscription which uh, Louis Barth is going to share the meaning of with you. Yeah, and the inscription is as follows. Um, sh first of all, in uh, English, Sherut La'am, that's Hebrew, Sherut La'am <laughs> Award presented to Debbie Friedman January 23rd, 2005. Kalsman Institute on Judaism and Health, Hebrew Union College, Jewish Institute of Religion, and a Hebrew inscription as follows, Ateret Segulato Tehi Biado, will change the gender for the translation, and the, it can be translated probably two ways. One way is she possesses the crowning glory of her gifts, or the gl crowning glory of her gifts are in her hands and in her voice and in her heart. Mazel tov, Debbie. Thank you, all of you. you. You are such a pain in the neck. <laughs> and I love you so much. You are just outrageous, and everybody in this room knows that about you. <laughs> so it's no big secret. 
But I, th I thank you all for your graciousness. And I, there are so many names to mention, but... Um, So I, I, I won't, I'll just say thank you to everybody, but I, I do have to say this. I have to thank, thank my, my family, and I also have to tell you that um, my friend Marty, who's sitting here, was, uh, who is Miriam, was having her simchat chokhmah. She was going to be 60 years old, and she, she um, was having this, she was going to embrace her old age with joy. And so she decided to have this ritual. And um, around, around the same time that she, we were preparing for this event, she learned about some <clears throat> rather uncomfortable and painful news. And um, the day of the... I know all of you will be surprised about this, but the day of the event, I sat down at the piano and um, I, was, I was trying to think of something that would bring her some kind of comfort. I, well, I was just at a loss because we in her community were all so upset and wanted, wanted her to feel better. And so the Mishberach text looked like the right place to go. And uh, I wrote it, and then I called my friend Rora to find out if it was OK, because we were very heavy-duty feminists at the time. And we needed to make sure that the language was kosher. And I guess the point is that, that out of pain, out of pain and out of our struggles, some of the most important work and some of the most important gifts that you give will come to be. This, this does not belong to me. This is, these things that come to me and come out, you know, we're all just messengers, we're all just vessels. And so I, well, I, I, I so thank you for this beautiful gift and this recognition. You need to know that each one of you is a part of each one of those songs. Each one of you is a source of inspiration. And each one of you has it in you to bring your own beautiful gifts So Miriam Song and Misha Berach, Marty, thank you. And all of you, I, I just, I don't even know what to say, except I was talking to Stan right before we came here, and I, and I said, um, you know, I bet half the people in this room, maybe even more f who are involved in this work, feel the same way, like we walk around inside out. We walk around inside out trying to manage in the world and trying to make quiet where there is none and trying to embrace people where they're alone and in pain and trying to just do tikkun, repairing and healing. And we're all in this together. No one of us is more important than the next. We're all in this together. And I, I thank you. This is, this is yours, too. 838 West End, 4C.